In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to build a CRUD application in minutes using a local platform called BuddyBase, step by step. This is the same process I used to create API World, which in the last few weeks has been used by thousands of developers worldwide. I am Joe Johnson, co founder of BuddyBase, the world's leading open source local platform, where IT teams transform workplace operations. And if you want to build a CRUD application in minutes that users enjoy using, you'll love the actionable steps in this video. Stay tuned. Before we jump into building our CRUD application, I want to give you a quick glimpse of the final application and its functionality. So, this is our new book management CRUD application. As you can see, it comes with branding, a navigation, search, pagination, and of course, our CRUD app the operations, which I will now demonstrate. First things first, let's create a new record. And I'll now fill out a form. And we'll set the status as available and we'll leave um, checked out by for now. So we'll just click the save button. And you can read all the books from within our table. Um, we can also take the read operation a little further. We'll just search for um, Super Freakonomics. Now, let's edit one of our books. We can view the Super Freakonomics book and we can mark it as not available and set myself um, as the person who has checked out the book. And there you go, you will see now the checked out by label, uh, column, sorry, and you'll see my name there, and you'll see the status as not available for Super Freakonomics. We can also go into uh, Electric Universe and delete the book finishing off our prod applications. Um, as you can see by default, Polybase provides a model and uh, just a confirmation rule so that you don't go deleting any records that you shouldn't. As I just demonstrated, this is pretty rudimentary. It's a pretty simple CRUD application with search or four operations and it works across devices, including mobile and tablet. But what's truly astonishing about this application is it only took a couple of minutes to build using BodyBase. So let me show you. We are now in BuddyBase. The first thing you will notice are all of my apps. I use this environment to build and test uh, BuddyBase apps. And with BuddyBase, you can build unlimited applications. On the left-hand side, you will notice a number of settings, including users of an email. With BuddyBase, you can manage users at a global level, which makes user management easier and faster when you've created more than one application. BuddyBase also supports SMTP, Google Auth, and soon to be Active Directory. So BuddyBase will look after user onboarding and email workflows for you. You can also change the theming of BuddyBase too. You can change it from lightest, light, dark, in darkest mode, depending on your preference. But we're here to build a current application. First of all, let's click the Create New App button. We will give our application a name and we'll call it uh, the Library Manager. BodyBase has its own 
database and supports several other databases, including MySQL, Postgres, Mongo, and more. For our simple CRUD application, we will simply use the BuddyBasis internal database, BuddyBasisDB. First thing we'll do is we'll create a new table. And we'll call this table books. Now we'll create our columns within our table. The first column we'll create is title. This will be the title of our book. The second column will be the author. The third column will be the status to be able to show whether a book is available or not. And we will use the options type. And the fourth column will be called the checkpoint. And we will create a relationship. And we will link our column to another table, which is the basis of a relationship. So we'll link it to our users table. And the relationship will be defined by one user and will have many books. So it's a one to many relationship. And that's us. Okay. So we've got a column set up. Now I for a demo purpose, um, we're going to add uh, two rows. So we're going to add two, two records to our, our table. The first one being super freakonomics. I've got this data beside me, so I don't have to type it in. Um, just makes things slightly easier. And we'll leave the checked out by um, empty. We're going to create another row. Add Vernon Bright by John Steinbeck. I'm going to mark this as available too and just leave checked out by. Okay, so we created a table within our body based DB. We've added four columns or fields and we've added two rows or records. Um, we can now move on to um, the design tab. The design section is where we create our user interface. You will notice on the left hand side of your screen, there's a list of screens and components. These screens were auto generated by BodyBase. Because we're using the BodyBase DB, BodyBase is smart enough to know that for each BodyBase table you create, you will need a screen to read that data, a screen to update that data, a screen to delete a record and a screen to create new records. This understanding um, within BodyBase makes it faster and easier to build CRUD applications. Let's get started. We are currently in the new record screen. Um, and within this screen, ultimately what we do is uh, we create new records. So we add new books. So I'm just going to write change the row to book. And what this will become is a form. And that form is linked to our table. So we can update um, this field group to present the records um, from our table. So ultimately, once we create or fill out this form and click Save, a new book will be added to our table. We will also have to generate a form for our update screen. So once again, change row to a book, and we will generate the form from our table in our backend, just like so. And you can see here that Polybase pulls in a book that's currently listed within the table, just to show you for reference. So we're just going to go to our book screen, which is our read screen. And within this here, you can see a table which lists um, 
lists the books that we have in our current table in our database. We can filter this table as well using the Define Filters tab. And we can take this a step further and add search functionality too. So to add search, we're going to click on this container tab and we're going to add a form component. I'm just going to move this form component up above the data provider. And then we're going to nest the data provider with inside, inside the, the form component. As you can see, the form component um, is great. So we're just going to change the theme of that. The reason we have themes here um, which reflect actually the themes of the builder is in a future release, maybe this one or next, um, that is the July 2021 or the August 2021 release, all applications built with body base will be themable. So your users will be able to select amongst um, four themes and potentially more depending on um, if we release you know, customizable themes too. But let's get back to building our application. So we're just gonna make this form large and what we're going to do is we're going to change the schema so we need to tell this form uh, which schema to look at you know and we're going to add a text field to our form which will be our search input and what we'll do is we'll tell this field which um which field to bind to so we're going to have a placeholder so search search groups Here's now. Um, but right now, the input has a form, but this table itself is not bound to the input itself. So we need to do that. So the way we can do that is to define a filter. And we can add an expression. So we're just going to go down and select title because that's what we selected for our new text field. Um, and we're going to select starts with and binding. And this is where we bind it to the text within our search. So once you type in something into the search box, it will filter that within this table. So we're just going to bind it to our new form fields title, new form field title, and, and click save, and then click save again. And for styling's sake, we're just going to add some margin. Okay, so. Right now we have search, but let's try it out and let's see if it works. I'm just going to preview our application. I'm just going to go to books and let's see if it works. Hey, it works. Awesome. Well done. We have successfully added search and we now have our final curl application that will make it easier to add the books like so. Just bear with me, I have to think of a book to add now. <laughs> we'll add our Electric Universe book. Um, we'll go back to David as well. We'll use David in one set of statements. It's normal and we'll that. And let's see if we can search. No problem. Search is working fine. Let's see if we can update this. Not available, we'll put myself in here. Yeah, it all seems to be working. We've managed to, we've, we've successfully managed to build a crawl application in minutes. And um, I, I generally think that you can do this in under a minute. It, I don't think it would be too hard. The process is so streamlined, body based auto generates the screens for you. And um, a lot of the logic there within the button actions are, are done for you as well. Um, you have pagination, you have search, you can complete all the credit operations. Um, yeah, I believe that's us finished. Well done. So um, just to recap, today we have managed to build a library management application, which is a CRUD application in a matter of minutes. Um, and the application itself has search pagination and it's also should be responsive. It's semi-responsive. Um, 
as you can see. Search. Hey. Yeah, it's all working. Well done. Success. If you are interested in learning more about BodyBase, click the link in the description. And if you're interested in learning more about low code, no code, or how to build applications with different databases, click the subscribe button. Thanks for listening. Happy building and good luck on your dev journey. Thank you. Bye.